Hello and welcome back to the first episode of Project Bob. This episode was shot in December of 2015 and is simply us performing some routine maintenance on the car shortly after we got it. Admittedly, this might not be the most exciting way to start off our first series, however we have some epic stuff in store for Bob, including a rather dramatic exhaust modification we did a couple of weeks ago. And we wanted to bring you along for the entire journey of this build, which is why we've chosen to include the footage from this first episode. Future episodes will be a lot longer and more up to date, and uh, also hopefully the quality is going to be slightly improved because we have recently uh, improved some of our recording equipment. So sit back and enjoy the very first episode of Project Bob. See you soon. Before we got the car into the workshop, we ran some special engine oil cleaner through the motor to help us clean out the years of old gunk that had likely built up. To do this, we had to let the engine run for about 20 minutes, and as a result, we actually had to stop and refuel halfway through thanks to the minute 5 litre fuel tank it came with. With Bob in the operating room, it was time to begin. Is it a bit tight? Yep. <laughs> Do you think eventually the oil, oil just turns back into dinosaurs? <laughs> like it just should. gets so old it just goes back through the cycle. Oh, I hate this bit. I have no idea how far it's going to spread. All over the floor. Not yet. Oi! <laughs> Meet after I match out. The next day. <laughs> So it makes you make old man sounds. <laughs> Don't try to do anything on it. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is just a 50 year old man leaking out all his fluids. It's, just, <laughs> it's like unfreezing someone who's been frozen in time and they just leak out all their fluids. That's a lovely thought. Smells old. It's <laughs> very old. Oh, oil from top over by dust. Size, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bit thicker, which is good. Got a ring here. The guy at the shop told me it would be shorter, but then again, he didn't speak very good English. So. Oh. Shorter, longer, shorter, you know. Shorter, longer, faster. The same thing. <laughs> yes, yes. Size. <laughs> Even got that stuff here, rubber, texture grip. Oh, nice. Along with Fancy. Get it here. There it is. Oh, look at that. Just smell it. Just smell it. Petrol. Smell it without dropping the camera on it. Oh! Oh my god. Yeah, it smells that, old. That is, that is an old smell. After some help from good old Uncle Google to find out how much oil Bob needed, we were ready to start loading up the engine with fresh oil. Down quite a bit. Following this, we moved on to the spark plugs.
We then used compressed air to ensure the area around was clear, as we had a direct opening into the cylinder. It could be worse. Well, we're just best to replace them now, so we don't have to replace it. We also sprayed some Multi 2000, or rather WD 40 to anyone else, on the spark plugs, as this helps displace any moisture without shorting out electrics, thus helping the life of the spark plug. There's an awesome Tearspec TV tip for you. You could use your old spark plugs as Christmas tree decorations. Why not? Don't you think we should keep these as like, like when you, when a child has its first teeth or whatever, like the church, the, what, do you know, what do you call them? Baby teeth fall out. Yeah, I'm pretty like, sure that's not the first one. It's the first spark plug that's carved kind of through. So, well, we used. one of them, the, the first for us, first for our adopted child. It's that was the first cylinder. Was it the first cylinder? <laughs> the, first, the first spark plug is the first cylinder. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not the first one though. I'd be pretty worried if it was. Yeah. Or impressed actually, I think is the better word. Yeah, maybe impressed. Yeah, so gearbox. I'm going to change the oil in that. And uh, what I can see, this bit over here is the transfer box, which we've got the two dry lines going through it. And the main gearbox is here. But what I've read from the internet, then this whole thing should be one big apartment. The capacity of oil, well, I'm not sure about that. But I can see I've got a filler plug down there, by the looks of it. I'm guessing that's where the oil needs to go in. We've got a drain plug in the bottom, so we're just going to fill that up until it cannot take any more. And check the dipstick here. But we have also got this place here where you can fill oil in. So I don't know which one is which. But I've go back to the internet because the internet is always right yeah <laughs> right always most of the time always Probably. most of the time maybe maybe perhaps yeah maybe we can put some oil onto the drive line Next time on Project Bob.